Are you someone who has a lot of burping? Sometimes this can be uncontrollable where someone is just burping all day long. Sometimes the correlation is made between someone who's having heart palpitations or having a panic attack or feeling a lot of anxiety and they burp and they feel better. So within the world of hiatal hernia syndrome, we see this a lot and it makes a lot of sense. I was reading a comment from a video, so at, to at Vermont, this is for you, so thank you for writing in. And um, what this person was saying was that um, he or she was having um, a lot of heart palpitations, a lot of panic attacks, going to the ER, them confirming your heart is fine, um, but it's basically all in your head, it's all stress related and you just have to calm down. And that's not correct, it's, it's not all in his or her head. Uh, so what is happening? Now, again, if you're somebody who suffers with heart palpitations, you suffer with anxiety or panic attacks, then this is something you really need to understand the correlation and, and how we can fix it. So. Um, one of the major things I want to talk about is, is your vagus nerve. Now this is one of your cranial nerves. It's your longest cranial nerve. It, it basically goes everywhere. But as related to hiatal hernia syndrome, it works with what's called your phrenic nerve, which goes to your diaphragm. So it's the nerve that makes your diaphragm work. So nerves basically are controlled um, they control actions of your body all over your body and um, a message comes from the brain, it goes down your spine and then out a certain level of your spine and then the nerve goes to its destination. So this phrenic nerve goes to your diaphragm but it works along with your vagus nerve to um, not just make your diaphragm work but very specifically the vagus nerve is all about calming things down. So you've heard of sympathetic, fight or flight, adrenaline rushes, you know, that's like rev you up. But what's calming you down? That's your parasympathetic nervous system that's very much dictated by your vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is all about calm and relax. So if you're having a panic attack and you're having heart palpitations, your, your vagus nerve is not doing right by you. It's not doing what it should do, which is sort of to settle all that down. Now, the vagus nerve gets irritated in hiatal hernia syndrome um, because of the uh, pressure that the stomach exerts on the base of the esophagus. I know this is a lot, just hang in there and we'll, we'll get through it all. Um, the vagus nerve, as I said, branches of it goes pretty much to every organ you have. And very interesting, at the base of your esophagus, right as it meets the stomach, the vagus nerve looks like a web, it's just a, a web there. And so as the stomach gets pushed up uh, on that base of the esophagus, it can really irritate your vagus nerve. And, and all the major symptoms associated with hiatal hernia syndrome are the same as what a vagus nerve being irritated yields, okay? So from acid reflux to the burping, I'm just gonna look down for a second, um, bloating, gas, IBS, so also dizziness, moodiness, so there's a long list of symptoms associated with the vagus nerve being a little weak and not, not working the way it should. Now you can, you can rebalance the vagus nerve by how? Taking the pressure off of it, which is what our programs are all about. Um, but what this gentleman brought up that's really key is that here he was being told, it's all in your head, it's all stress, that's why you have this, the heart palpitations mean nothing, it's just because you're stressed, just because you're stressed. And he noted that, he said, you know, if I could start burping, then my heart palpitations and my anxiety settle down. And I hear this all the time from hiatal hernia syndrome patients, and it has to do with, um, that vagus nerve and sort of activating it and sort of settling things down. So, and it's not that you want to spend your life burping, that's not the key. The key is to understand the correlation and realize at the root we have vagus nerve irritation, but at the root of that we have a, a digestive system that's imbalanced such that again that stomach is pushing up and irritating that base of the esophagus where the vagus nerve is. So, 
at our root, we have a digestive issue that needs to be addressed. But how far away from that is heart palpitations, a panic attack, and an irritated vagus nerve? It's just not something that traditional medicine pulls together because they're, they're not looking at it that way. It's like, you have heart palpitations, are you having a heart attack? Okay, no, great. Um, so it's all in your head. <laughs> You're having a panic attack. Not that simple. Let's look at the anatomy. Let's look at how the body works. So I wanted to bring this up again because it's just something I hear a lot from patients. Either they've got uncontrollable burping because their vagus nerve is, is so deficient, or they notice that, boy, I have this pressure and, and I'm feeling anxious and I'm short of breath and I have heart palpitations. And then if I can just burp and release some of that gas, it kind of settles down for me for a little bit. And I wanted to explain what the mechanism is and how that happens and how that makes sense. It's not just things that happen that have no correlation. They're absolutely correlated. So um, if you're having the symptoms of heart palpitations, panic attacks, including shortness of breath, um, related to burping or not, uh, I want you to know that it's not difficult to get to the root cause of, of why this is happening. If you're somebody suffering from a lot of burping and it's just, for some people, it's just constant all day long, um, we can get to the root of that for you. And, and so often uh, these videos prompt, yeah, but what do I do? <laughs> it's like, um, which is fine. It's totally great to ask, what do I do? You deserve to ask that because you're miserable. I get it. But there's not, if there was a one size fits all answer, I'd be giving it to you. Our programs are customized and personalized to each individual patient because that's how to get the job done. It's not just take magnesium or take you know, apple cider vinegar. It's not that simple. It could be a palliative, it could be a bit of a Band-Aid, but I hate Band-Aids. You know, we're, we're called root cause medicine for a reason. We wanna to get to that root cause and really fix it at that level so that this problem is resolved, not just temporarily relieved. So if this is helpful for you or you know somebody, um, and you can see this in people, you know, they're like, you know, they're, they're trying to suppress the burp a lot of times when they're just in casual conversation, but maybe you have a friend or a family member who's, who's experiencing that and not correlating it with other symptoms they have. So share this with others. Uh, if you need our assistance, we're here for you. You can call us for a consultation.